Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to analyze mysteries on the planet with the Esri Wayback Imagery. The Esri Wayback Imagery. Now I have other videos on this imagery and how and why to use it in teaching, research, instruction, etc. But in this video, let's talk about five mysteries on the planet that hopefully will spark you to have your students look at other mysteries. And don't feel obligated to explain all the mysteries. Have some that are truly mysteries until you perhaps do further research. And even then, they may still be mysteries. Now, we have a dynamic planet, humans shaping the planet, seven and a half billion people shaping the planet. We also have natural forces, volcanism, ice, coastal erosion, river systems, et cetera, shaping the planet. And sometimes those things exacerbate each other. For example, humans can influence the changes in wetlands or in forest cover or coastal erosion by their own actions and, and vice versa. So we've got things working in tandem oftentimes. But because we have a fascinating dynamic planet, we can look at images like this using the Wayback Imagery Service. So here I have five mysteries for you to think about and ponder. At, again, as an example of what you could actually do and teach in your own classrooms. All right, so let's take a look at this. I've got the 2014 imagery on the left side, the 2021 on the right side, and I'm seeing this zigzagging pattern. The 2021 imagery, as you can see here, gives you a little bit more of a shadow. So maybe the sun was a bit lower. Well, it's definitely a bit lower. You can see from the houses. What additional research could I use? We've got oblique imagery. We've got Google Street View. We've got other things that you could use, other maps and other map layers to try to figure out what this feature is. It's at the edge of this housing development. It's in a, it's in a very arid area. I'm not gonna give you too many other clues, but maybe the Google Street View on this Wolf Fur Street will let you see between the houses, short of going there yourself, which is ideal, right? I have lots of videos on field work and the value of field work. But what is this zigzaggy pattern? It's right at the edge of this gravel basin. I've actually been on this mountain over here, which is why I knew this feature was there. But this is the one of the, fi one of the five mysteries that I've got for you. This one, I actually don't know what this feature is. It doesn't seem to me to be electrical. It seems to be something to do with the drainage here, this drainage maybe a set of storm drains or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Fascinating though, wind, I don't think it's a windbreak either. All right, so let's go to number two. Number two, this is a bit easier. It's at the edge of this big reservoir. I just gave some of it away, didn't I? But you've got these conical towers in here with the concrete bridges between these. And again, I've got 2014 on the left, 2021 on the right-hand side. Not exactly the same dates as the image that I was showing before. So that's something to keep in mind through all of these mysteries. Fascinating. Taken at different times again. So you see different shadowing effects, and different light and darkness on these images. What is that? Okay, let's go to number three. Number three, the right-hand side, the 2021 imagery, newer imagery, is all distorted. I have videos and blogs and essays about distortion in imagery and why some images are distorted. You can see some of these buildings, especially on the right-hand side, are vastly distorted. But on the left side, in the 2014 image, you can see this ring, what it looks like a ring coming out from this building, and then it extends over this blackness. What is that blackness and what's that ring? I know what this one is. I want you to think about what this mystery might be. So again, additional research necessary, additional sources, maps, reports, get the latitude and longitude for this place, et cetera. Lots of things you can uncover about our planet, but isn't that fascinating? Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see where this actually is located, but not too much because I don't want to totally give it away. Ah, oh, this is beautiful to be able to have this kind of imagery at your fingertips, isn't it folks? All right, let's look at number th four. We looked at this one here, starting with this zigzaggy pattern. Then we looked at this, these two towers. Then number three was this ring. Number four, this is a rural area. You can see it's a different kind of land use land cover. And I've got what looks to be a trailer park here where I'm swiping the 2014 and the 2021 imagery. But the one I want you to think about is this one right up in here, these, these cones. I know what this one is. I've actually been down this highway and I did some additional research. I love this kind of historical architecture kind of thing. Well, what are these cones? Think about what these cones might be. 
This is in southeast, south central Texas. So I've given you all the clues that I want to. Let's go to number five, five of five. This is on a campus, a university campus, not your typical kind of university campus, but you can see this, what appears in the 2022, this is only two weeks old, this imagery on the right side, 2014 on the left, wasn't there in 2014, the building was, but not this concentric rings, at least two of them, maybe three, if you really stretch it, and an, an, another set of circles inside the inner circle there. What might that be? Again, I know what this one is because I've done additional ancillary research, but I want you to think about what this might be. Fascinating. Again, pose mysteries, uncover mysteries, and this all is having to do with the geographic inquiry cycle. Asking a geographic question, gathering additional resources, maps, charts, aerial photos, satellite imagery, reports, et cetera. Investigating may lead to additional questions and the cycle continues. So you are instilling by doing this mysteries of our planet with, in this case, the part of geotechnologies called the Wayback Imagery from ESRI. Fascinating that you've got terabyte loads of satellite imagery at your fingertips. Now, if you want to dig deeper, as I explain in other videos, you can save these maps and images. You can bring them into ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Pro, add additional layers, do some spatial analysis, like actually figure out what the size is of these features that I've gone through with you today on and additional things. You could bring it into 3D for additional study. Lots of things you could do to dig deeper. But even with this, web browser, nothing to install. All you need is the internet connection with the Wayback imagery. You can uncover mysteries, this concentric circle, these cones, this ring at the edge of the planet, what, what it looks like, these cones here, different kinds of cones, and this zigzaggy pattern. Lots more that we could uncover here today, but I hope that plants some seeds that, you know, asking these kinds of questions instills interest, gets you using geographic tools, geographic technologies, and thinking about scale, land use, and population change, and again, uh, natural features, human build features. Oh, it's all interesting. It's all geography and STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, and more, history. So, I hope this was interesting and sparked some ideas. Thanks for being with me.